This is a Thompson cast. I am Mel Thompson. You know, sometimes not taking a particular action is the best move for a government as opposed to doing something that on paper looks reasonable, but in reality will cause further problems. A good example of this is the Indian government's decision not to hike the price of diesel, kerosene, and other subsidized petroleum products because they are concerned that there would be a great outlash against these hikes from the general population. In other words, what they are essentially concerned about is the prospect of civil unrest. And this is actually a very, very real concern. And their lack of action is actually the best thing they could do to lower the political risk of civil unrest. Now, it is perfectly clear that something needs to be done. The Indian government is dealing with a very, very large deficit. They have uh, a lot of other problems, particularly in their energy supply chain but the cost of the energy at the level of gasoline that would impact the average person is something that is so volatile right now that any action to increase the cost is going to cause the types of problems that they can't afford to have overall in India at this point. As a matter of fact, the last thing they need is civil unrest on top of their other problems. So sometimes a lack of action is a good choice. And in this case, I would say it is a good choice. It certainly lowers the political risk as it pertains to civil unrest in India. Now, we have to kind of look at this entire um, situation in the context that it's in. And we need to understand that the oil subsidies have increased quite a bit as energy consumption has gone up in recent years. And what you are looking at is the government trying to slash the fuel subsidies, particularly on diesel. And their intent is to control the overall government deficit by doing this. However, if they start doing this, you're going to increase the likelihood of civil unrest and you're also without question going to increase the potential for opposition parties to take advantage of a logical but unpopular move which would possibly cause even more if it's possible cause even more inaction and stagnation within the Indian government political infighting is probably the biggest threat to foreign direct investment. It stops progress. It causes a lot of problems from the standpoint of making the trains run on time and getting things to work properly. It's always somebody willing to throw a roadblock up. And when you give the opportunity to people willing to throw the roadblock up, they will take it. So, overall, the lack of action as opposed to taking a direct, proactive policy of raising these prices and slashing the subsidies in India at this particular time lowers the political risk of civil unrest and further gridlock in the Indian government. This has been the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson.